he says, quite frankly, we are still in the middle of this, but does point out there is encouraging news. His hospital, for example, discharged some 600 patients over the last several weeks, or about 35 a day. Hey everyone, I'm back at Boston Medical Center, as some of you may know. Dr. John Santiago is an emergency room physician at Boston Medical Center treating COVID-19 patients. This morning, he was on OTR in front of the state house, where he divides his time as a state rep. He says much has changed over the course of a month and a half. What I found over the past couple of weeks is that people are coming in who have been, let's say, diagnosed a week or so ago, right. but are returning with more significant symptoms, often requiring so, the ICU and ventilators. And while he believes his hospital and those across Massachusetts have enough ventilators now, Dr. Santiago says given the serious complications that can arise, physicians are learning to stave off ventilators using other methods. He says before President Trump suggested possibly injecting disinfectants, he had patients coming in requesting hydroxychloroquine. The president has such an important role in this and his uh, inability to communicate important scientific uh, knowledge is concerning to a lot of us. Dr. Santiago says Massachusetts has aggressively scaled up testing, but says more tests are needed in nursing homes and communities of color. He says there is hope and believes in several weeks we'll be on the backside of this pandemic and says that is when we should discuss the economy. The virus is really going to dictate the opening. And Dr. Santiago went on to say that he fully expects unemployment here in Massachusetts to stand at about 20 percent when all is said and done, and the economy down at least $6 billion compared to last fiscal year. Reporting live, Julie Lonchak, WCBB News Center 5.